Hi, welcome aboard the Aurora for your new England Aquarium Whale Watch presented by Boston Harbor Cruises. My name's Laura Howes, I'm the head naturalist here, and uh, we miss being out of the water, especially with you guys, so we wanted to take you out and show you some whales. Uh, we're here practicing safe social distancing, so wearing our masks and staying six feet away, and I uh, hope we have a good day out there. We just came out of the harbor. So from Boston, it's about 20 to 30 miles to get to Stellwagen Bank. Uh, this sanctuary was designated in 1992 and it was made to protect the diverse marine life seen in the area. Now you might be wondering, you know, why are we going to Stellwagen Bank? Uh, it's all about the bathymetry, so the underwater topography of Stellwagen Bank itself. And in the springtime, nutrient rich water especially cold water currents at the seafloor, rush up to the surface. When you're getting longer days of sunlight, turbulent water, that's the perfect conditions for photosynthesis to happen. So we get huge blooms of something called phytoplankton, and um, after that, zooplankton. That first wave of production brings out the North Atlantic right whale, say whale, feeding on that zooplankton. And then we have schooling fish feeding on that zooplankton. And that's what's bringing um, our large whales, bluefin tuna, seabirds, all sorts of sea life. So the first thing, what I'm looking for, when I'm looking for a whale, is something that looks like a big puff of white smoke. We call that the whale's blow or spout. And a day like today, we can see from a couple miles away, we're also looking for any body parts. It typically is a back or a tail. We're also looking for any unusual splashing and also seabird life. So the seabirds feed on what the whales feed. So we see a big cluster of seabirds. That's a good sign that there might be a whale around. Um, our captains are down in the wheelhouse spotting as well. So we're going to continue searching here and we'll see what we can find. We're excited. There's a ton of activity ahead of us towards our one o'clock. And so this is a great sign. Um, we've also slowed our boat down. We approach the animals cautiously and carefully with the Northeast Regional Whale Watch guidelines. We're not gonna to try to get the whales to come to the boat. We would never feed them. That would be harassment. We wanna watch them in their natural environment. Did you spot the first one? There's at least three whales here. Definitely probably more. So they're pretty much um, the largest thing we'd see out here. Fin whales are about two school buses in length. They're light gray in color and kind of built like a submarine. The only other larger whale is the blue whale. So I got my camera ready. Hopefully get some photo identification shots of the whales that we're seeing right towards our one o'clock. And we're trying to check out what's going on here where all the birds are. If you look at the clusters of seabirds, that'll give you a good sign uh, when a whale might come up. Well, it looks like a third fin whale about to come up at our 11 o'clock. So fin whales, you're not going to see that tail come out of the water. Instead, you're just going to see a smooth back followed by a pointy dorsal fin. Okay, keep watching where the birds go. Well, so <laughs> that fin whale just lunged. And now getting to see a lunging fin whale, that's actually not a typical sighting. And so that's a beautiful look of a fin whale. But it looks like um, there's at least three to four fin whales here. And I'd say they're a variety of size. This one here looks a little bit smaller. We have lots of time to explore here, so we're going to see what else we can find. Uh, but that was incredible looks at those fin whales. Oh, no, no. Three o'clock. Activity going on. I think we're gonna head out there. Our captain spotted some Atlantic white sided dolphins. So we're gonna try to check those out as well. So dolphins, unlike these large baleen whales, they're a small tooth whale that forms a pod, which is a tight knit social group. And you'll often see them uh, near feeding whales as well. At one o'clock, this is a northern gannet. Very pointed head, long wings. The largest seabird you'll see out here pretty much with a six foot wingspan. And then we have a lot of herring gulls. Those are kind of your typical gull that you'll see out here. 
There's a kick feeder right out here somewhere, right out there at 11. Yeah, I saw that too, so whatever you want to do is fine. Come on, creep over there. Yeah, so it looks like we have a pair of humpbacks here. So third species of marine mammal so far today. Uh, we've already spotted some Atlantic white-sided dolphins, fin whales, and so now we have two humpback whales. The humpback whale, probably one of the most common whale you might be familiar with. They have the big, long pectoral flippers. They're about the length of your long yellow school bus. Here comes a tail. Awesome, that's Cajun. She's actually one of our favorites. Um, she's actually probably one of the biggest humpbacks I know, easily 55 feet, so I had to guess. The Cajun, she gets her name. She has a marking that looks like um, a chili pepper on her tail. Uh, we call it the fluke. And so every humpback gets a name, not as a pet name, but actually just to help us remember who they are in the field. And so it looks like where we are right now, there's three to four humpbacks scattered within about a mile radius, each doing their own bouts of kick feeding. They have a lot of eating techniques. And in fact, kick feeding, as far as we know, is only seen in the Stellwagen Bay National Marine Sanctuary area. And what's even more exciting is it's a, a behavior that seems to be taught to individuals. So it's a form of culture that they do teach it to each other and not just their young. And so we first started seeing kick feeding in the 1980s and now about a third of the humpbacks in the area do it. So it looks like um, the pair came up behind us. We're slowly heading towards a kick feeding whale. So it's closer to, to some, oh wow, so these dolphins some aerial activity here from those dolphins. Now they're called white-sided dolphins. They have a white tan and yellow stripe. Oh, and check out Black Hole. A Black Hole, she's another veteran female. She has an all black tail, if you had to guess. You can also tell them apart by their dorsal fins, but I like her dorsal fin, because it kind of looks like a, like a Hershey's Kiss, which is a more unusual shape. So this is an amazing behavior called kick feeding. She's also blowing bubbles. So keep your eyes right at that light green patch. She's probably gonna come up with a mouthful of food. Yep, there's the tip of her mouth. Looks like she fed just under the surface, but we saw the tip there. And a flipper. Wonderful, so she basically just rolled upside down with a mouthful of food. And check out the dolphins, they are following her, probably trying to see if they can get some leftover fish. But wow, look at that, that stream of whale poop behind her. She, I don't think I've seen a whale poop this much before. There's researchers even here at the New England Aquarium that study whale feces. They can learn a lot about the animal, uh, stress hormones, what they're feeding on, finding pregnancy hormones in that feces. And believe it or not, a lot of that research, they'll use a dog to help find the smell of where the poop is. And so we all love to see whales and watch them in their habitat, but they're actually very important for the ecosystem. So this humpback whale, 40 ton animal, it goes down at depth to feed, and then it always goes to the bathroom at the surface, so it's a way to recycle nutrients. And so these guys, we think of them as fertilizers of the sea. And so Black Hole there, she just did a whole bunch of fertilizing. She's a well-fed whale there. Oh, looks like we have a laughing gull, is a, another type of seabird here. And so we're still following Black Hole, the humpback as well. Oh, that looks, that's a minke whale. So fourth marine mammal species, you just got a minke. Now, if you got to look at that, it looks almost like a dolphin, but they're about three times longer. Only about 20 to 30 feet long. They don't have a visible blow. They're pretty tricky to get a look at. Here to the right, the harbor seal. Uh, you might be familiar with the harbor seals outside the front of the aquarium. And so it's totally normal to see a seal this far offshore. They can also, they can even sleep offshore if they want. Well, you know, I really have been thinking about this time, like what can you do to help whales? Especially when you're at home, 
right now. And some simple things you can do, you of course, of course can donate to the aquarium, you can adopt a whale to help the Right Whale Research Program. You can also become a member. If you're not able to give, just sharing about, you know, what's going on at the aquarium, uh, share a cool video, cool fun fact, and of course lots of everyday things you can still continue to do to help wildlife. Um, a big problem we see offshore are lots of plastic, uh, balloons, plastic bags. So try to reduce your single-use plastic. Carbon emissions, so when you can, using less electronics, reducing your carbon footprint. And also sustainable seafood. That's a big problem for whales as well, entanglement and fishing gear. Um, a great resource you can download is called Seafood Watch and you can download that app and also check out the aquarium website um, if you go to the seafood side you can see uh, what's a sustainable choice uh, if you happen to be out on a recreational boat or your own small boat uh, remembering safe whale watching guidelines and so there's lots of things you can do uh, to help these species Welcome back to Boston, folks. Uh, we just came back from the Stowagen Bank National Marine Sanctuary. Uh, again, we miss you all very much and wish we could be out on the water. Uh, but hopefully we gave you a little bit of taste of what's out there and what will be waiting when we can get back out. Um, it was a beautiful day. Again, we saw five different species of marine mammal including humpback whales who are kick feeding, uh, fin whales doing some lunge feeding at the surface, many minke whales, a ton of Atlantic white-sided dolphins, and of course a harbor seal. For seabird life, uh, we saw diving northern gannets, herring gulls, laughing gulls, and a few cormorants. Uh, so it was a wonderful day there. Uh, we spent a lot of time with black hole um, and cajuns, two very large female humpbacks. And so again, I just want to thank you for joining us today and we hope to be back out on the water with you soon.